everyone. Today I'm going to be sharing with you my secret recipe for chocolate chip cookies. I've been working on this recipe since I was 15 years old. I do think I have perfected it, so let's get started. Now it's time to get the ingredients together and I will print all the ingredients you need on the screen right now. Um, I'm going to get all this stuff together now. Another thing that you can do right now is preheat your oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay, so all my ingredients are out and ready. Um, so the first thing that I'm going to do is, before we brown the butter, I am going to measure out my brown sugar and my white sugar because as soon as the butter is ready, I'm going to want to pour it right into the bowl. So, Okay, so now we are going to brown the butter, which basically is a process where you cook the butter until the milk solids separate and then they brown. It kind of caramelizes the solids and yeah, it's really good. So that's what we're gonna do right now. You're gonna need one stick of butter, a saucepan like that. You can also use a Dutch oven if you want. Um, and then like a knife to cut the butter up and a spatula. Now that we have our brown butter, we're just gonna pour it. And there's a ton left. We're gonna just scrape all that down because that brown stuff, that's the good stuff. Mix that together a little bit. And then we're gonna take two teaspoons of vanilla extract. Okay, now we're gonna take our one egg and crack that in. Beautiful. Now we are going to measure out our flour. So put the whisk to the side and we're gonna get out a scale. And we're just gonna start scooping in flour. Now before we mix that up, I'm also gonna be adding in my baking soda. And then while we're at it, I'm gonna add just a pinch of salt. Good generous pinch, be even a little bit more. And now I'm just gonna fold this into itself. We're gonna set this to the side and start chopping up our chocolate. Okay, so I'm using the Ghirardelli Semi-Sweet Chocolate. You can also use chocolate chips. The reason I like to use the baking chocolate is because when you cut it yourself, you get a lot of irregular sizes that are just gonna melt right into the batter. Now that we have our batter, we are going to prepare our cookie sheets. Okay, so you're going to want two sheet pans. I like to go that way, so it requires no cutting. I'm going to go get the batter and we are going to scoop some cookies. Now that we have our cookies rolled and ready on the sheet, I'm just gonna pop them in the oven. I'm gonna start with a six minute timer and see how they look. I'm gonna give these bad boys another minute and a half and then we're probably gonna be done with them. Okay, so cookies are ready. Now that our cookies are done, it's time to transfer them to the cooling rack. So I'm gonna use a spatula to do that. We're gonna let these cookies set for about five minutes and then they will be ready to enjoy. Okay, so it's been about five minutes. Um, so now we're gonna go in for the bite. Perfect. 
All right, thank you guys for watching. I hope you get a chance to make these yourself. Um, it's really worth it. So good.